In this lesson, we're going to look at how to divide rational expressions. We've already talked about how to multiply. And if you know how to multiply rational expressions, then there's only one extra step to add when you divide. So it's really not much of a change. We're going to convert our division problems into multiplication by changing divide to times and flipping the next fraction. And you should be familiar with this from when you divided regular fractions. Remember, you always used to change divide to times and flip the next fraction. Same thing we're doing here. And so we're going to do all the multiplication steps. Then, And you don't need to do any canceling out until after you've converted from division into multiplication. Okay, I've already got us an example over here. So let's do x squared minus 2x minus 8 over x squared minus 9 divided by x minus 4 over x plus 3. So when I do these, I like to factor and flip at the same time. So let's, you know, it just cuts down on the copying. So let's factor x squared minus 2x minus 8. That's going to make x times x. Then the signs are going to need to be different. And last times last needs to be 4 times 2. So we'll put the 4 here and the 2 there. Now in the denominator, I've got a difference of squares. So that's going to make x minus 3 times x plus 3. All right, now it's time to do the second fraction. And remember, we're flipping at the same time. So we'll change divide to times. And we will flip this second fraction. So what was on the bottom is now on the top. What was on the top is now in the bottom. And now in this state, let's figure out what has to be left out of the domain. We know um, x cannot equal 3. From this factor, x cannot equal negative 3. And for this factor, x cannot equal 4. Okay, now we can cancel. I cancel out my x minus 4s. I cancel out my x plus 3s. And all that's left is x plus 2 over x minus 3. And of course, we need to leave these numbers out of the domain. And so that's all the, there is to it. It's really very much like multiplying, except we have this extra step where we have to change divide to times and flip the second fraction. Well, let's take a look at another one. Let's divide x squared minus 2x plus 1 over x cubed plus x divided by x squared plus x minus 2 over 3x squared plus 3. Okay, now I'm going to factor the top left. That'll make x minus 1 times x minus 1. See, the signs need to be the same, and they both need to be negative. All right, now in the denominator, I have a GCF of x, and that will leave us x squared plus 1 in the parentheses. Change divide to times, flip the second fraction. So I have a GCF of 3 here. That's going to leave me x squared plus 1 in the parentheses. And this, what used to be in the top, is now going to be in the bottom. It's going to become x minus 2, or sorry, x plus 2 times x minus 1. All right, now, before we get started on our canceling, let's figure out what cannot be in the domain. So first of all, x cannot equal 0 because of this factor. And then x cannot, or x squared plus 1 cannot equal 0. Now this is interesting. It's the first time we've seen an x squared in the denominator. So x squared plus 1 cannot equal 0. That means x squared cannot equal negative 1. But if you think about it, uh, x couldn't equal x squared couldn't equal negative 1 anyway, right? Because when you square a number, it comes out positive. So this factor, this, this demand that x squared cannot equal negative 1, this makes no difference to the domain because there's no way for x squared to equal negative 1 anyhow. So this really has no effect on the domain because it's not possible. Okay, now x plus 2 cannot equal 0. That means x cannot equal negative 2, and x minus 1 cannot equal 0. That means x cannot equal 1. 
Now we will cancel our x squared plus 1's, and we will cancel our x minus 1's, and what we're left with is the 3 times the x minus 1 in the top, and the x times the x plus 2 in the bottom, and we will list all the numbers that x cannot equal 0 and negative 2 and positive 1. And remember that this whole thing had no effect on the domain anyway because this whole situation was not possible to begin with.